Welcome to The Shed. I'm Sid, Mackie's on the camera. And today we are going to be learning how to adjust and service the clutch on a Shimano derailleur. So what is a clutch? So if you have a Shimano derailleur, you have one of these guys. This is on, this is off. So the purpose of the clutch is to basically increase the chain tension, prevent your chain from slapping, making a bunch of horrible noises. It also helps with dropping chains. For example, on this bike, which is a cross country bike, we don't even run a chain guide on it because the system works so well. So right now this is in the off position. Obviously you want to turn your clutch into the off position when you take your wheel off, right? So that's, that's a good thing to know. So let's turn it on. I can still make it move, but it requires much more force. Oh. So that's what happens when you shift, is it does have to break through that clutch point. But when you're just descending and it's just bouncing like that, you're getting a lot less chain movement. You get the idea. For this task, you will need Allen keys, flathead screwdriver, a torque wrench, Shimano grease, and if you are going to take the derailleur off your bike, either a chain brake or a quick link remover like this one, you do not have to take it off. We're going to today because it makes it a little easier to do and a lot easier to film and show you guys what's going on. If you do decide you want to take it off, now would be a great time to also do your cable and housing because you're one step of the way. Why would you need to do this? Say your bike is shifting, fine, the chain's on, everything works, why bother? Well, there's a difference between your bike is brand new and it's shifting fine, and you've been riding it for a year and haven't done this, and it's shifting fine. fine. <laughs> Mackie has a great point here, which is that we get used to our shifting. So often people are like, I think my cable ho and housing is fine. I don't need a new cable. And then they get on another bike that has a fresh cable and they're like, oh wow, it's so much easier to shift. This is definitely a simple fix to make your bike ride better. If your clutch is not adjusted properly, your bike is going to be louder. You're going to get more chain slap. Your chain might be more likely to fall off. This is something that we see with people all the time that they either don't have their clutch on at all. So that's step number one. Check that. That's me usually. Either they don't have their clutch on or it's way loose because it was never adjusted after purchasing the bike. I don't think this is something that all bike shops tell people about when they buy a bike or a new derailleur. So this could be a really simple fix to make your bike quieter and just generally a more pleasant experience. The way that you know if you need to either service or maybe just adjust your clutch is if say it's in the on position and you can still, you're still getting quite a bit of movement. This one does not really need to be adjusted. It seems to be tight enough. Like if it were breaking sure. through like this, it wouldn't be tight enough. Right. But go ahead and break through. See how it's kind of sticky as it breaks yeah, through? Yeah, and it definitely like has a couple points in there, like not just one, but yeah. like it is not a smooth rotation. So this bike has quite a few miles on it, so I think it's definitely time. We are gonna swap the cable and housing here to get Mackie race ready. Like I said, you can do this on the bike. I love this tool so much. It's been like a couple months since I mentioned that this was my favorite tool. That and the pokey tool. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Ah! Make pterodact pterodactyl noises. First, we are going to do the service and then we'll get it back on the bike and show you guys the adjustment. So you can click on the chapters below and skip to the adjustment if you do not need to service right now. I have done this once before, but I've forgotten everything. So as usual, we're learning together. First step. You are going to use a very small Allen key. I think it's a two. And you're going to remove all three of those bolts. This is coming back to me a little bit. I kind of like this one. It's kind of fun. So how often or how many riding hours would you say or does Shimano suggest that you do this kind of service? Because it is it is a preventative maintenance sort of thing. Like so They didn't have a specific time. They sort of said, like, listen for creaks or if it's not shifting well or like when it breaks through, if it's kind of sticky like this one was. But you are supposed to adjust your clutch tension, which is what we'll show you guys later, after a month of having the bike. So when the derailleur is new, after a month, you want to adjust it. Usually that means tightening it. And then if you start getting more chain slap than usual, then you need to adjust it. How many riding hours would you say you have on this derailleur? Oh man, it's an excellent question. Eight. Moab Rocks, Apex. Oops, Iceman. I don't know, 100? Ah uh, yes, this thing, it's so cool looking. It is so cool looking. Definitely advocate taking things apart because 
They look cool on the inside. And then the bonus is that you understand. And that's actually a perfect segue because I was just going to say, <laughs> let's look at it and see how it works. Right now, the clutch is off, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So go ahead, leave it off and go ahead and move the cage down. Yes, I remember remembering this now. So you see how you can see right there? how it's twisting the inner thing mm -hmm. each time you do that. Yeah, and then when we lock it. Yeah, you see how much harder it is? is preventing that from. So basically this little guy right here. Is getting squeezed. Exactly, and when it squeezes, it squeezes on here, which makes it harder for that inner part to rotate. It also is harder than usual because it needs this maintenance. Like there's grease that goes between yeah, this, this outer plate in the middle and it's yeah, very much not greased. Now that we know how this works, you are going to remove both of those pieces. You want to make sure that you know the like orientation that they're in because you have to put it back together. <laughs> yes, so now would be a good time to take a picture of it. Luckily we have, you know, an hour of video, of video footage. <laughs> Basically all you do is pull the whole thing straight up. Oh, if it right. doesn't pull easily, well, it did. Easily. There we go. It pulls extremely easily. Okay. If it yes. doesn't, you can use a flathead screwdriver and gently yes. pry it up from underneath. Keyword on gently. So Short just part on the make bottom. Sure that you this remember there, that. this goes in that. You can see, I think, a little bit better when I pull this out that when you are rotating this, you're essentially squeezing here, which is obviously going to make that turn more difficult. That fits on here, which is what connects to the cage of your derailleur. So it's basically just keeping it from. Yeah. rotating as easily. It's a super simple little mechanism, but like all rotating parts, it needs some grease occasionally. So now I just pop this guy out, right? Yeah. Remember that out. being slightly challenging. <laughs> you need a flathead screwdriver. Yeah. Put it in this direction. Yep. Yes. Okay. And then lift it up and then it should pop out. Yeah. You want to make sure that you do not bend this piece. Do I have grease on my face? You do. It's very cute. <laughs> this piece, if it gets bent, you have to replace. Gentle prying, my friends. We spoke to a Shimano tech rep who actually did this service on my bike, and he said, this stuff works just fine if you can't get the RD plus grease. I mean, is this as easy as it seems? I just give this guy a little smear around the sides and then... You should clean it first, but then okay. more or less. I'm gonna go with a paper towel for this as opposed to a rag, because all of our rags are not very clean. If you have a clean rag, we should use your pajamas. <laughs> Naki's pajamas like exploded yesterday. They just went from like having no hole in the butt to like having no butt. You're gonna clean that off really, really well. That looks great. You can <laughs> see that there's no more old grease on it. And then... You want grease all over the silver part, but not inside or on, like on the edges. Not on the top or the bottom. Or um, inside. So don't go nuts, basically, is what you're saying. Well, go nuts on the outside, but not on the inside. Go nuts, but within reason. Reasonable nuts. <laughs> Reasonable amount of nuts. It's mostly in it that you want to avoid. Sure. Backwards. You're going to clean that really well also. Oh yeah, good idea. That's what you don't want it doing. <laughs> this is the hard part. And I think what you can do is, if you can get the screwdriver in, great, but you may not be able to, at which point you can potentially push that in a little bit enough to get a gap and then get the screwdriver in. Oh, nicely done. Do you have your orientation correct? I am correct. You are correct. There she is. So make sure it's centered up and down. Yeah, it's gonna do that like with my fingers. Oh yeah, well done. Don't get the grease on the top. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> That's like the motto of this channel. <laughs> so you can see it's nicely cleaned. There's no grease on the top or the bottom, but there is grease between this outer part and the part that rotates. So now we just go backwards. You want to make sure that there. thing's clean also. And then you want to clean that as well. It actually looks fairly good, just a little dusty. I just hate that I always pop out this little washer and then it doesn't want to go back in. But we might as well clean it because it's really dirty. Jeez, Mackie, your bike is dirty. My mechanic's been slacking. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of grease around that because that's a seal. You just want to keep the seal lubricated because that's going to make it last longer because otherwise it dries out in this desert heat. <laughs> it's like 40 degrees in here. That's <laughs> why that's funny. See how it's not symmetrical, it's not circular. This thing is not circular. When you turn the clutch on, this part, the wider part, should be pushing down and squeezing that. So I think this is 180 degrees off. That little gap there, see how there's a gap at the yeah, bottom? Should the be bottom down. It's like a puzzle. There we go. There's on, sorry, off. 
Whoops. <laughs> Why does that keep happening? Well, because that has to be held in place by its cover. You have to pretend to be the cover if you want to test it. On. Yeah, that felt a lot better. I, and I had to hold that because we learned that it pops off. It should move more smoothly when that's yeah. on and you rotate the cage, which you can try now, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. Way better. Way smoother. Before it was like catching. Let's put the cover back on. Okay. This is off. Let's just make sure everything is still connected in there. That felt good. Much smoother. Yeah. This will actually be easier if we pull the rear wheel. So let's just pull the rear wheel real rear, 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 rear quick. <laughs> All right, shall we adjust this derailleur? First, just a little reiteration on what we were talking about earlier, which is how do you know if you need to adjust it? Basically, if you're getting a lot of chain slap, if you've had your bike or you put a new derailleur on about a month or so ago, do you see this little guy? It was a T25. So you'll need a torque wrench with a T25. So I'm holding this like this and then pushing here, correct? You're pulling here until it breaks free. <laughs> it's pretty tight. Okay, so that's breaking free at about five, which is on the upper range of what the setting should be. Which we know you like. The reason to not just make it as tight as possible is that it gets harder to shift, but Mackie really doesn't like dropping his chain. And I'm about to put new cable and housing, which will make the shifting easier. So that's probably good. Let's say it was way too loose though. What would we tighten? First thing to note is that on this one, you use this side to check it. So All if right. you don't have a T25 on the back side, you're gonna use a four mil in this side. You're gonna do the same thing just from the other direction. Ones that you have to remove the cover, there's a little bolt that you tighten up here to tighten the clutch. This one, you tighten using this little Allen key right here. And with this cover, there's a port on the bottom so you can put the cover back on and tighten it without removing the cover. Please leave a comment. Have you ever swallowed a bolt? Because I worry about this a lot when I put things in my mouth, which I do all the time. So what you're saying is that maybe people shouldn't hold bolts in their mouth. Probably not. I mean, I don't know. We, I feel like we know now that like a little bit of good bacteria is good for you. Swallowing the bolt probably isn't. And if you did swallow a bolt, what did you do? So you've used your torque wrench to ascertain how much you need to tighten or maybe you need to loosen your clutch. So now you're gonna pop open this little porthole. So then you want to adjust it about a quarter of a turn, maybe a half a turn at a time, and then retest the tension. Basically, different ones have slightly different ranges. It seemed silly to me to try to memorize all of them. And so I realized that if you're at three and a half or four, you are within the range of all the derailleurs. So shoot for three and a half to four Newton meters where it, uh, of the break free point. It's still at five, is that where you want it? Yeah, that's at the high end for that derailleur, but I like it at the high end, so. As always, there's an element of personal preference. I'm just the mechanic, I don't argue. So that's not true, I argue all the time. <laughs> now that the clutch is serviced and ready to go, we are going to swap the cable and housing, get the chain back on, and then the bike will be ready to go. And this is how you service and adjust the clutch on a Shimano derailleur in one minute. To overhaul your derailleur clutch, remove the three screws holding the cover in place and remove the cover. Carefully pull the clutch mechanism straight up, making sure to note how all the pieces go together. Using a flathead screwdriver, pry open the outer ring to release the inner mechanism. Clean both and then apply a layer of grease on the outside of the inner mechanism, being careful not to get any grease inside. Now pry open the outer ring again and reinsert the inner mechanism, making sure it is in its original orientation. Reconnect both pieces of the clutch and reinstall on the derailleur, making sure there is no tension when the clutch lever is in the off position. Reinstall the cover and screws. To adjust the derailleur clutch, use a torque wrench to check how much force it takes to move the derailleur cage when the clutch is on. If it is above 5 or below 3 newton meters, it needs to be adjusted. If your derailleur has an access port like this one, open the port and use the 2mm Allen key to tighten or loosen the clutch a half turn. If it doesn't have a port, remove the cover and use a small wrench to adjust. Check the tension again and adjust as necessary. Thank you.